Good morning students. Today I am going to tell about how to localize the apex bit by palpation method. Before that, what is apex bit? You can just see this heart diagram, see this point. So this is the heart which I have drawn. So the lowermost point is this one for the heart and the outermost point. So this is apex bit. It is very clear the lowermost point and the outermost point. So apex bit can be defined as lowermost and outermost point of definite cardiac impulse, note it down. Now let us go to the procedure. To make it simple, I will usually tell it as three step method. Just to concentrate, this is the first step, yeah, entire palm. So for example, I will keep on the entire palm, yeah, I am able to feel some impulse in my fourth finger. So what I do, this is first step is entire palm, then where I kept the fourth finger, I keep the ulnar border. So keeping the ulnar border is second step. Now in the ulnar border, yeah, I am failing here, where I am keeping them. So now what I do, yeah, this is third step. I am keeping the pointing finger, yeah, I am very clearly able to feel the impulse. So now I have actually localized the apex bit. So three step method, first, entire palm, I am feeling it here. Second step, ulnar border, I am feeling it here. Third step, this. Once I localize the apex bit, I now I want to know whether this is in fifth intercostal space or fourth intercostal space or third intercostal space. So one step what I can do is I will keep this as such. I will use my left hand which is free to calculate the intercostal space. But if you are a beginner, it is very difficult for you to, bow, to keep it hold and make it means very simple. What I can do, I will mark this. Yeah, see here. Yeah, okay. So now just mark this point. So now I am going to check where it is localized. Yeah, just to see here. This is jugular notch. Yeah, when I come here, this is the prominence. We call it sternal angle, Ludwig's angle. Corresponding to it is second costal cartilage. Below that is second intercostal space, third rib, third intercostal space, fourth rib, fourth intercostal space. You can see the nipple corresponds to fourth intercostal space, fifth intercostal space. Yeah, see here. Yeah, see here. This is the point where I mark. It comes at the level of fifth intercostal space left side. So left to fifth intercostal space. So what I found out is, his suffix beat is located at left to fifth intercostal space. But one more landmark is left. Midclavicular line, see here. How to calculate midclavicular line? You need not draw this joint, see here, the finger. This is sternoclavicular joint, the junction between sternum and clavicle. And this here, yeah, this here, correct. This joint is acromioclavicular joint. So two joints, sternoclavicular, acromioclavicular. Or otherwise, I have to draw a midway the clavicle. That's what clavicle extends from sternoclavicular to acromioclavicular. I draw imaginary line. Oh, okay, this hand, imaginary line. So now tell me this marking. Yeah, now tell me this marking is medial or lateral? It is medial, approximately half inch medial. So now what I found out is apex beat is located at left fifth intercostal space, half an inch medial to midclavicular line. So what I did today is palpation of apex bit. So again, just to quickly repeat, first step is enter, you will not keep it here and all, because approximately you know it is around fourth or fifth. So I just keep it here. For example, if I am feeling the apex bit here, what I will do? Yeah, I will be doing like this. Second step will vary. If I am feeling the apex bit here, what I will do? Or if I feel the impulse here, yeah, I will keep it like this. Hope you are able to understand how to go for second step from the first step. Ulnar border is the second step. Now I am able to feel the impulse here. So I will keep the pointing finger. So this is the third step. Now question arises. If I am not able to feel apex bit with this three step method, what should I do is, it may be impalpable apex. For example, now I am trying to feel, not able to feel, not able to feel, not able to feel. What I will do next step is, So ask the, so ask the subject to sit and I will try the same method. So instead of subject lying down in supine position, you will be sitting. I will be trying to do this. Even if it is not able to, you are not able to palpate, bend. So what I will tell him, ask him to bend as much as possible and the same. So that I will be able to feel the apex. So now same method, first step, second step, third step. Now I am able to clearly feel. For him actually, even in supine position I am able to feel. But in supine position, if you are not able to feel the apex impulse, this you can do. 
Now some causes where it will be very difficult to localize the or impalpable apex we can say. Pericardial effusion, sometimes right side pneumothorax, what happens? Pneumothorax, enlarged lung, so there is a difficulty to localize the apex beat. Dextrocardia you can say, in dextrocardia very rare condition but heart is centrally shifted so you will not be able to see the apex beat here. Massive pleural effusion, one common condition sometimes where I will find difficult obesity, so excess subcutaneous fat. So the impulse which you are palpating now will be masked behind that subcutaneous fat. So obesity is also one of the causes for impalpable apex beat, pericardial effusion I can say, massive pleural effusion, massive pneumothorax. Another important condition in left ventricular hypertrophy what happens? The apex bit will be slightly shifted. Now coming to character of apex bit, actually based upon the character of apex bit also, we can able to determine the underlying heart condition. Normally apex bit is just palpable and it will not be sustained. But a typical tapping apex bit, apex bit will be tapping in case of mitral stenosis. Same way apex bit will be hyperdynamic in case of ventricular dilatation, that is volume overload sustained heaving apex bit so it will be very longer and sustained in case of left ventricular hypertrophy which is pressure overload in this case we are having normal just palpable apex bit and is not sustained or tapping today's video i have just discussed how to locate the apex bit definition of apex bit and causes of impalpable apex bit in next video we can discuss about jugular venous pulse thank you